A lot of my work around business is to do with the levels of consciousness and understanding your energetic system. My mentor, my friend, Frederick Dodson, uh, created this amazing book called Levels of Energy. And uh, he puts energy on a scale from zero to a thousand. Zero being low, a thousand being high. A lot of the times, I can look at an entrepreneur and I look at a business and I know exactly what level of energy they are based upon what they're telling me, what the symptoms are, how they're feeling. And I can look at a business based upon who their customers are, knowing what level of consciousness those people are, right? So everything in life, every business is built to either bring someone's energy up or bring someone's energy down. A great example of this, like let's take a Mars bar. Let's take something that isn't really good for you. If you gave that candy bar to somebody that had a low level of consciousness, it would actually raise them up. If you gave that candy bar to somebody that was already a higher level of energy, it would actually bring them down. Now that's not actually a bad thing. I'll give you a perfect example of this. It's about 2 p.m. right now and I'm shooting this video. I haven't ate yet today. And the reason I haven't ate yet today is when I eat, my energy level is grounded more. When I don't eat and I fast, my energy is uh, a little lighter, a little higher. When I'm shooting videos, I want to be able to articulate ideas and information and to be able to channel through information to you that being a lower level of energy doesn't really make sense. Now, after this, I've already got booked one of the most, the best taco place that I've ever found. And I'm probably going to feast because I haven't literally ate since last night. That's going to bring and that's going to grab my energy more. Because if I ran my business from this place right now, it would be a little too eerie. I'd be able to be in visionary mode, but maybe not working mode. I wouldn't be able to be in intellectual mode where I'm looking at data and analyzing. To really allow you to understand this, every single day, you're wanting to be conscious and intentional about your energy level, right? So if I'm on like a webinar, or if I'm on a live training, or I'm in an event where I want to channel information, right? We all have the ability to channel ancient wisdom. Uh, we all have the ability to channel and take uh, our frontal cortex and turn off our frontal cortex so that our genius can come out of us. But if we ground ourselves too much, if we lower our energy level, we actually turn that off. And now we're actually intellectually thinking about what we're talking about instead of allowing it to flow. And now the flow goes away. But if I'm looking at, so let's say, my P&Ls or I'm on a call with my tax advisor, I probably don't want to go there in this visionary state because in this visionary state, money doesn't exist. It's just, it doesn't exist. But if I want to be in that 3D state, it's really important that I'm grounded and that I'm at that lower energy level of intellectual consciousness so that I can actually think about things. And then even still, sometimes when we meditate on the mountain, we get the idea and we come down, we strategize and understand, we still gotta do the work. We actually gotta be able to put in the work. And so that's willful consciousness. And willful consciousness is very important to be able to actually turn your vision into a reality. And so this is the point of being able to get the work in. That might be the late nights or the early mornings. That might be the phone calls where you're like, you know what, I am going to get this done. I'm going to go through and get this done. The problem a lot of the time is we get in an energy level, we wanna stay there, right? Whether it's low, whether we're comfortable with being the warrior, or we're comfortable with being the, the visionary that's kind of money doesn't exist and the execution doesn't exist. And so a lot of the times what we do is we get to an energy level and we want to hold on to it. We don't want to. We don't want to go anywhere else. We don't want to go anywhere else. We, you know, after two hours of meditation, you feel so good. You don't want to. You don't want to go back down. But in reality, we have to go to the mountain to be able to have that channeled information for the vision to come down to us as entrepreneurs. And then we have to strategize and understand and intellectualize and be an intellectual consciousness to be able to ground it into the 3D world. And then we actually have to be able to create through willful consciousness. And if you hold on to any one of these, the, the gift of being a human being that can access multiple levels of consciousness goes away, it dwindles. You, enter, you end up in a, in a place where you have to work 18 hours a day every day, or you end up in a place where you can meditate in the mountains and you're broke. And so really what entrepreneurship is, is being able to take these levels of consciousness, knowing when you need to go and meditate to be able to download that information, knowing when you need to not eat to be able to download the information, knowing when and what to eat based upon how you need to feel from the levels of consciousness, knowing what place that you want to live in, knowing what car, each car has its own energy level, each place literally on the planet has its energy level. And so you know that a beautiful place will make it so that you can be in this visionary mode, but in a place that is perhaps in a city will allow you to be in willful consciousness. And if you can be conscious of everything in your environment and everything that you're doing, 
you literally get to have the cheat codes to life. You like you have the cheat codes to entrepreneurship and you have the cheat codes because you literally know what level of consciousness you need to be in to get what you know you really want. And I mean, <laughs> once you once you do it and you see it work, life becomes a beautiful game and where we are the creator of the script. We're the creator of the game. We're the, we get to control the whole thing without ever having to control anything at all. That is why this work is so important. That is why when an entrepreneur comes to me, the levels of consciousness, understanding that this is literally the ability to program your game the way you want to, just because you want to.